Hi, my name is Attorney Walter, if not the third, I'm with uh, Disability Resolution PA in Orlando-based law firm in Orange County, Florida. Let's go ahead and begin. Um, <clears throat> so, a lot of people ask about DLU's date last updated inside the DOT. It means like the last time that book was updated for that job. So remember, when they come out with like a revision of a book, and this book hasn't been revised, it's actually, it's, it's now all online, but the bottom line is that this book, you know, everybody thinks, well, you know, it's been revised, meaning that every single job in it has been updated. No, DLUs mean date last updated. I mean, that job, that bio page with that particular job hasn't been updated since that DLU, which is usually like the 1970s or 80s. Um, so the question we're gonna be answering is, how long back is a job allowed to be used um, without it being out of date or outdated or you know whatever you wanna call it? Basically, what was found was that the commissioner's own regulations indicate the job information that is older than 15 years. So DLU older than 15 years. So basically a DLU older than uh, 2000, okay? 15 years, 2000 uh, is out date, is out of date. That's under 20 CFR sections uh, 404.1565A and 416.965A stating a gradual change occurs in most jobs so that after 15 years is no longer realistic to expect that skills and abilities acquired in job done then continue to apply. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what that really means in this particular situation. It means that the DOT hasn't been updated for more than 20 years, more than... I don't even remember what the exact date is. I'll look it up, but it's been a really long time. So that basically what the commissioner is inferencing here is that basically the DOT shouldn't be used, which is what the commissioner found um, in July 2012, that the DOT is outdated, obviously. Um, and they use the OIDAP, which is that Occupational Information Development Advisory Panel. Um, to figure that out, but what they, what they're, what she's, or well, right now it's a she, but what the commissioner is really saying is, we need to get a new book, obviously, dot dot dot. But basically, we shouldn't be even using it for these hearings. Yet we don't have a definitive book that has been chosen by the federal government other than the DOT. There's a ton of other options out there, and I can go through them all with you. But the bottom line is that this is kind of interesting because. You know, it just shows how there needs to be movement, there needs to be development, there needs to be change in the Social Security Administration because all these jobs and the bios and the updates, like keep, take, take for example, um, you know, how old are computers? How old are POS systems? How old are digital systems and phones and blah, 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 and those little, you know, little personal whatever things or little business yada yada things that scan stuff? How old is that stuff? It's actually not 30 years old for, mo you know, for the most part. So a lot of these jobs that they came through have all these new technologies that are required dot 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 and at the same time you know the DOT doesn't basically go into what all these new jobs require for new skills for new ta technology that all the new jobs have you know there was a time when Walmart didn't have a scan system for everything for CMS and POS system there was a time when basically you know there was not a digital printer system where you had to have a, pr have a pretty good idea of how to navigate through Windows there was a time and unfortunately we're checking these books based upon that time. Now these jobs all require a technology knowledge. And most of these claimants that are going in there don't even know how to use a computer, don't even know how to use a smartphone, blah, 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 blah. So what you need to understand is that the DOT is ancient and it's hurting claimants because if the DOT were up to date, those claimants that don't have those technology skills would not be able to have all those jobs that which they say they could do because the jobs in the DOT don't have all these extra technology prerequisites. So I know it's complex and blah, blah, blah. If you're not an attorney, you're not probably gonna get it right off the bat, but watch the video maybe twice um, and see if it kind of sticks, all right? My name is attorney Walter Ruff, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. You have an absolutely wonderful day. And remember, by the time you watch this video, the information may be old hat, which means go ahead and give me a call and I'll give you the up-to-date stuff. Also remember, if you have any question for a unique claim, give me a call and I'll walk you through it. Also remember, if this video helped you in any way, please leave a positive review on some lawyer rating website, okay? Avo's the biggie. I don't like Avo. I don't think they handle it right. I think their rating system is terrible, and I think they charge way too much money to be able to get that little that little pro thing. You pay for that. That just means you basically get to customize your profile. That's it. Okay. And now they're it's to advertise on there. It's like ridiculously expensive. So either way, just um, 
go ahead, leave me a rating wherever you can. I appreciate it, dot, dot, dot. And you guys have a great day. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.